What's going on, basketball fans? Welcome into NBA Now from Chat Sports. I'm your host, Jimmy Crowther, and today I got something special for you. I got the top 20 free agents in the 2020 free agent class here on Chat Sports. And I want to start out with a question for all of you Which player do you want your favorite team to sign in 2020? So, kind of a two parter. I need you to tell me who your favorite team is, and I want you to tell me which free agent you want to see them go after in this free agent class, which uh, I think I got the top guy for you that I think everybody on their team, everybody is gonna want their team to go after. It's Anthony Davis. He's our number one free agent in this class. Now he does have a player option. That is important to remember, but nobody who's paying attention to the NBA expects him to opt into that player option. He will opt out, become a free agent, start to consider some other teams. Maybe he goes back to Los Angeles, definitely a possibility. But lately, a new rumor has emerged that he might consider the Chicago Bulls. He was born and raised in Chicago, so, and he was asked, hey, what would it mean to play in your hometown? And he said, when the time comes, I will definitely consider it. And when the time comes, a.k.a. 2020, it's coming up. So Anthony Davis, I think he stays with the Lakers, but just know there's some other teams out there. Our number two guy on this list, Pascal Siakam of the Toronto Raptors. Look, he's the new face of Toronto. Kawhi's gone. Kyle Lowry's there, but he's kind of fading. It's time for Pascal Siakam to step up. He already stepped up last year. He won the 2019 Most Improved Player of the Year Award. And I expect him to just get even better this next season with the Raptors. I think he could have an all-star type season, which will bode well for his free agency. DeMar DeRozan of the San Antonio Spurs. Another guy who has a player option. I'd expect him to decline that and enter free agency for one last big payday. Look, the guy's not a three-point shooter. He's going to get to the rim. He's going to attack. He's an athletic finisher. He's fun to watch. But his role last year with the San Antonio Spurs was a bit questionable. He, his usage rate was way down. So now it's like, hey, do I want a bigger role and do I want to go get paid or do I just want to stick around in San Antonio and finish out my career here? Going to be a big summer for DeMar DeRozan. Number five, a bit younger guy here from the Boston Celtics, Jalen Brown. Now, he's going to be a restricted free agent in 2020. And look, 2018, 2017, 2018, his rookie year was incredible. He showed out. I, I loved what he did. He had an incredible playoff run. This past season, he kind of hit that sophomore slump just a little bit, but I expect him to pick things back up in year number three with the Boston Celtics, and he'll be in line for a big payday next summer. Now, are you guys really NBA fans? Like, are you actually true diehard NBA fans? Do you actually pay attention to basketball every waking second of the day? If you are, then you must be subscribed to Chat Sports. That would just be logical because we do all things, everything NBA here on Chat Sports. If you're not subscribed, I question your NBA fandom just a bit. So make sure you hit that big red button. Subscribe to youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Number six, Brandon Ingram, the newest New Orleans Pelican. Another guy is going to be entering, um, or ex excuse me, restricted free agency. And look, up and down career because of injuries. But I still think he can turn into a solid scoring threat for a good team. He's got to add weight. That's always been the big question with Brandon Ingram. And now a bigger one is his injury history. I like him a lot. I mean, he's still got all the skills. He's got the length. He, he's got the scoring ability. I think he's going to be good for New Orleans. And it'll set him up nicely for a pay raise in next summer's free agency class. Andre Drummond of the Detroit Pistons, number seven, the big man in the middle, $28.75 million player option. Uh, now, he's made two all-star appearances. His last one was just last year, so I think he would opt out, but it's not a for sure thing. Drummond's still a nice center. I mean, I mean, he's a lob threat, and he can play defense, he can bang down low. He's trying to be a stretch five. We'll see how that actually turns out for him in Detroit. I like Andre Drummond, gonna be a big time player in free agency next summer. Number eight. This is a guy to watch out for, Buddy Heald of the Sacramento Kings. Look, he started in 82 games. I had to double check myself on that one. Started 82 games for the Kings last season. So he played every single one, started in all five of them. He set career highs in points per game, assists per game, and rebounds per game. And he became one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. 20.7 points per game, five rebounds, two and a half assists. Buddy Hill became a special, special player for Sacramento last season. And as a restricted guy, some team is going to go out and overpay for him in 2020. I think Buddy Hill could have been in the running for most improved player of the year award. It was just hard to beat out those guys like Pascal Siakam and his teammate De'Aaron Fox. Now, Buddy Hill was a star at the University of Oklahoma. And that is probably my least favorite college. I'm an Oklahoma State Cowboy. I want you to shout out your favorite college in the comment section. I know producer Tad's a big TCU guy over there. So shout it out. Let me know. 
favorite college team in the comment section below. Let's keep it rolling here with number nine, point guard for Toronto. It's Kyle Lowry. Look, this whole Toronto Raptors starting five could just fall apart. Kyle Lowry and uh, Pascal Siakam both entering free agency next summer. Now, look, Lowry is on the decline. He's 34 years old. Well, that's probably why he switched agents, and he went and got some new representation, same guys who represent Gordon Hayward and Bradley Beal, who we know have set themselves up nicely for some big paydays in the NBA. I expect Kyle Lowry to still get paid. I mean, his game translate well, translates well with age because it's not like he's some explosive point guard. Kyle Lowry is our number nine free agent in 2020. Let's round out this top 10. It's Karis LeVert of the Brooklyn Nets. You probably didn't get to see him play that much last season because he was injured, and it was a big time injury. I mean, it held him back quite a bit, that ankle injury. Ankle injury excuse me. But this next season, Kevin Durant, he's not in Brooklyn quite yet. He's gonna be sitting out a year. Kyrie Irving is there. So I'd expect Karis LeVert to be the second option this season, which is going to set him up nicely for the summer of 2020. Some teams are going to be chasing after him hard.